So, I'm here at uh, Dun & Massey. It's uh, Sunday, the 9th of uh, June, 2024. And it's only 49 degrees. Terrible temperatures for uh, where we are in June. So, here I am at Dun & Massey. It's uh, Sunday, the 9th of June, 2024 and it's only 49 degrees so for the time of the year it's absolutely freezing and i think this could be the uh, visitor centre at uh, Dunmassey and the opening times are 9am and it just shows you there how, uh, how big the area is. Okay, let's go in the visitor centre. So, here we go. Let's uh, have a wander around and see what we can see. I would imagine this is the uh, restaurant, cafe area. You can buy ice cream there. There's uh, all different sorts of plants you can buy. So it's a big area. Daryl's uh, just got a map and we can start having a walk around now and See what we can see and look at that there that looks lovely there as well it's uh, just started rain a little bit here so i do hope it does keep drying it doesn't spoil my video so here's one of the uh, lakes let's uh, go through these gates here and See what we can see as we go through. So this area here now is uh, called Deer Park. Uh, so there is deer here. It says they do look tame, but do be careful of them. So let's go see uh, if we can see any. And there's like a old building up here as well. And look at that amazing tree there. So this building does look absolutely uh, amazing here. Let's uh, go and check it out and see what we can see here. All old brick. And there's a clock in it as well. So let's carry on walking down here now. It looks like there's something else at the end of me and this building it's got like water like a mill area type of uh, place so this could be the the mill down here trees look beautiful one thing i'm just amazed at like i said up at the car park it's absolutely freezing cold my uh, head feels cold i wish i'd have brought me hat and this is in June, the 9th of June, and I'm frozen. What's wrong with the British weather? Take another look at that uh, building. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but this area, it's just absolutely vast. You can obviously walk for absolute miles and miles here, it's huge. And this is all part of the National Trust. Look at it down uh, here. And this is the mill that we're looking at here. And you can, you can go on tours as well. Don't know what time they start, but uh, there's the sign saying you can. 
10 people per to it but it doesn't actually uh, give you time so we'll carry on a little bit more down here for you and just have a look into this area and there is actually deer here so let's go check uh, check them out and uh, see what they are doing. Yeah, I don't know, can you see them there directly in front? Let's just uh, zoom in a little bit on them for you. And there you go, there's all the uh, deer. They're just milling, eating the uh, grass there. And look at the different colours of the uh, deer there. He's uh, got all white spots on him. So as I say, you can just walk for miles and miles and miles. Look how far down this path actually uh, goes. And this is just in the wilderness. So there's probably, like I say, a lot of deer and everything here. The wind at the moment is just absolutely owling past me so I hope the mics are doing a good job and not picking all this uh, wind noise up trees look absolutely beautiful and you can hear all the all the wildlife and all the birds and different things in the trees can't see them because the leaf coverage is uh, quite thick but uh, beautiful place if it was a nice day it must be absolutely spectacular you could probably spend all day in here just wandering up and down and seeing all the different things so we've just looked here now and on the uh, right hand side of my walk was like a lake and it looks like it's full of lilies so let's go and uh, check it out and there's a lovely seat there where you can sit down and just enjoy the uh, view like I say there looks like there's a lot of lilies in here let's go uh, and have a look at it for you like a big branch of a tree there and uh, there's your lake and there is a lot of lilies in there and I'd imagine there'll be a lot of yellow flowers on there when they all uh, come out. And there's that amazing seat overlooking the uh, lake. Some trees there that they've just cut down one thing I will say, if you have got a dog, you uh, are safe to bring him here because all dogs do need to be on close leads and all the dogs I've seen so far have been on close leads and nobody letting them run wild, so that's absolutely brilliant. So we've kept on walking up here now, there's beautiful trees and we're right now on the boundary of the uh, deer sanctuary and there's the sign that uh, tells you you are so amazing look at that amazing tree there and there's like a big branch fell off it there as well absolutely spectacular and I can hear the wind coming through the trees get that tree out with uh, a hole straight the way uh, through it let's uh, check it out and have a have a look look at that absolutely amazing the countryside's just absolutely beautiful here and as I say this is all owned by the National Trust we're in the deer sanctuary and you can just go for miles and miles and miles it's amazing 
and the trees are just so beautiful. And just check the trees out here. Very, very tall, massive and beautiful. They're amazing. So there in front of me, look, we've got some deer. So just have a, have a look there. Can't get much further because of all these nettles, but uh, there's your deer. And uh, they're just walking around in this beautiful deer sanctuary. So glad to uh, see them. We have nearly walked to the end here and just in front of me we've got the gates where you can uh, enter this area. So we will walk up to there now for you and uh, have a look. Here we go, we're right up to the uh, end of this uh, deer sanctuary. So that was well worth having a walk up there. And it does say there, no access past this point. So let's uh, start heading back towards the uh, mill. It's been an absolute lovely uh, walk up to the top there. Distance there, there's like another, some sort of outbuilding. Uh, it does look quite derelict. I didn't see that on the way up, but I've only just noticed it as uh, I uh, start heading down. And unfortunately, I don't know whether it's going to spoil the uh, video I'm doing, but it has started to rain. So I've just had a load of rain. I'm absolutely uh, drowned, which I'll show you now. But uh, we've walked all down there and we're now back to the uh, main entrance where the big hall is. And I think we're going to probably check that out in a minute. That probably opens in about 15 minutes time. So uh, we'll go have a look. But luckily the rain has gone off a little bit now. So I thought it was going to stop me filming. So I was getting a little bit disappointed, but camera's out again now and we're having another look around here. Yeah. Uh, that statue out there. Can't make up my mind whether it's a dog or what it is on top, but it does look amazing. So the wind is blowing really, really bad as I'm uh, making my way down to the uh, hallway. Looks a big place. We can have a look if we can go inside. It probably will be able to, but it probably opens again at 10. So we've probably got about a 15 minutes wait before we can get in there. So there you are, check that out. Amazing place. The detail on the building is just absolutely beautiful. Amazing how they've uh, done it. And Daryl's just read there, that used to be a statue of an African man, but they've had to pull it down. So let's go into this area. It looks a bit more like the garage or the stable area. And we've got there a plane, which he's just taken off from Manchester. So let's go into this stable area here and uh, see what there is here. There's the bell tower for you. So we probably won't be able to show you in the actual hall because that doesn't open till 12 o'clock. But uh, hopefully the gardens they uh, open at 10 and look at all the ducks there just uh, chilling and uh, sleeping. And the uh, bell ch is chiming for coming up to 10 o'clock.
looks like there's been a lot of deer around in this area here as well. So, like I say, there's quite a lot of character to these uh, really, really old buildings here. The, uh, they look really, really good. That's really warm, though. And we've got Shrugbury's ice cream truck there. So, uh, but that's quite busy when that opens later on today. And we're back to the mill. And we are going to head now to the uh, gardens. Wherever they are, we can have a look now. So the gardens are now open and we'll have a wander through and have a look. So we are in the gardens now and there is some beautiful plants about. Let's uh, go and have a look and check it out for you. Look at them beautiful trees there. So we'll have a walk around here. We're very close to Manchester Airport because there's planes taking off all the uh, all the time here. So there's loads of places you can walk through the uh, garden area here. We'll uh, carry on for you and see what we can see, we're coming to a nice uh, grassed open area here. Looks like back of the uh, mansion. Let's uh, go check that out for you and have a look there. Grass is uh, very well cut and in front of me there, which we're zooming into now, there's like a nice conservatory uh, building. Let's carry on and see what else we can see here. Got some different coloured plants there and a nice bench where you can sit and chill out. Like I say, an absolute beautiful grassed area and there's plenty of seats to sit on and just relax, lovely big trees. There's not a lot of actual colourful plants, whether there will be later on in the year, I don't know. But there's a lot of shrubbery but no colour. Check that out in uh, front of us, you can go and sit in there and shelter out of the rain or out of the sun if you uh, if you needed to looks amazing we'll uh, head on this pathway to the uh, right here and see what's uh, around down here for you it looks like we're going over some sort of a stream here because there's like a little bridge. Let's go uh, have a look. Look at all the shrubbery here and like the purple plants there. They do look really, really nice. And yeah, I was right. It is like a little stream with a with a bridge over it. Have a look at that, check that out, that does look absolutely uh, wonderful. Let's just stop the camera a second and we'll have a look the other way for you. And there's looking the uh, other way up the little stream so Daryl's just uh, adding up the stream there so we'll just have another wander up there and see what we can uh, see. We'll just check all the different foliage out on all these plants. Very unusual, very green and do look really, really good. And there's that little bridge where we've uh, just crossed the uh, creek. So we'll carry on down this path 
Uh, the grass is growing quite long. There's a beautiful tree there, unusual colour. Looks very, very nice. Got some, I think the buttercups there, just coming into uh, flower. Got another one of them trees here with like the unusual coloured reddish maroon leaves on him. Amazing. And we're getting like under a archway of trees, which looks very, very good. Looks like this shrub here is just coming into some sort of flower. I don't know what colour they'll be when they open up. Some nice flowers there on uh, that bush. And there's quite a few there that uh, still haven't opened up. It has gone a lot warmer. I don't know whether that's because I'm sheltered here from the uh, wind or whether it has warmed up, but when I said I was freezing earlier on, I'm now uh, quite warm. So that's, uh, that's a good sign. So we're still carrying on along these uh, garden paths. We've got some nice red flowers there. Let's just uh, check them out. They uh, do look quite nice. And as we go around the corner here, we've got some uh, pink ones. Quite quiet around the gardens at the moment, I suppose that's because they have only just opened up. Got some nice plants there on that tree. Flowers, I should say. So the sun's actually uh, breaking through now, so it has uh, gone even warmer. So that's a bonus, and just check uh, all these out here. These look very unusual, no idea what they are. Plenty of greenery through here. Look at that uh, massive tree there, and look how unusual these leaves look here. Amazing. Coming now to another seat where people can sit all around and relax and just take in this uh, beautiful place which we're in. Some different coloured flowers again there for you. They look really, really nice. Get that tree out. The leaves on that do look amazing as well. Beautiful. And we're just heading back now to the uh, little bridge over the uh, stream where we initially uh, come in. Owls crossing the stream now. I'm just going to check out these uh, amazing little plants here. Just before I cross, look at that. How uh, beautiful and how unusual that looks. So I'm just going to cross over the stream, over this beautiful little bridge. And we'll probably just check this lovely grass area out here now again. Really enjoyed this walk around here today. A uh, massive place, you could spend hours and hours uh, in here. But we're only doing a short video for you today because we haven't got that much time. Uh, we'll go check, walk across the grass here, go check this like conservatory building out and have a look at the uh, lake. So again, we're by the Hall of Don Massey and I'm crossing this grass area. There's like a lovely little pond in front of me here, in front of this conservatory building. So we'll, we'll have a look at that and then we'll uh, walk into that building there and just check that out as well for you. And in the middle of this pond, there's like a little statue. 
let's just uh, have a look at that before we go in the building. I don't know whether there's any fish in there, I can't see there is, but let me just zoom in on uh, that little statue for you there, it looks amazing. Let's check this building out here, see what's actually in it for you. So I'm just going in and have a quick look. We've got some potted plants, a chair so you can sit down and relax, it's very very nice in here. And uh, some different plants there, just check that one out, that looks quite amazing as well, look at the foliage and the leaves on it. And look at all these here, that's very unusual as well. So yeah, nice uh, little outer building to uh, come and relax in. And at the top here they've got a beautiful palm. Have a look at that, that's really, really nice. It's a bit like the one I've got in my garden. I wish mine would uh, grow and be as nice as that one. Back outside and I'm just going head now to the uh, lake and uh, have a look at the lake. But I have just seen some very, very unusual flowers here. I'm just going to go and check them out as well before I go to the lake. Just uh, have a look at them there. They uh, do look really, really nice. OK, ducks are here. Let's go to this path here and just have a look uh, at the lake area. And it does look absolutely amazing. Let's just have a quick walk down the path at the uh, side of it here. Check that out. Absolutely fantastic with the uh, mansion in the background. Let's just head down here a little bit and see what there is down here. I think Daryl went this way, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to uh, have a look, see if I can see him. Yes, he has. He's just crossing like this little stepping stone area across the lake, which does look absolutely amazing there. Let's go across. There's a lot of duck mess on here, so I'll have to watch you don't tread in that. But as we go across here, there is some really, really lovely plants, and just check out that as we look up the water there. Beautiful, the plants look here. They uh, really, really are amazing. Let's go have a look through here. See what we can see. There's like all different archways you can go through. So again, the garden area, you could uh, get lost in here. It's that big. It really is beautiful and nice to walk around. Start heading back to the uh, hall. Daryl's just crossing that path there across the uh, little lake. And we'll start heading back to the uh, car. So we've just shown you a little bit of Gwen Massey today. And again here we've, we've got the beautiful lake and the ducks sitting by it and the hall in the uh, background and doesn't that look spectacular that duck's just uh, jumped in the uh, water there and starting to uh, swim across. Beautiful. Wind's getting up again, the sun's gone in, it has gone a lot cooler again. 
but it does does warm up when the sun comes out but when the sun goes in it just seems as if the uh, wind gets quite strong some nice deck chairs here where you can just sit out and relax and chill and just take in all the uh, beautiful scenery uh, we will head through here now and this is taking us right up to the uh, back of the hall so let's go check out the back I don't know whether we can get out this way or whether we have got come back on ourselves but that uh, does show you another absolutely amazing view of the lake and as I say let's start looking at the uh, hall Daryl's just going up them steps then it looks like he's going have a look through the window see if he can see anything there spectacular building looks uh, really really nice amazing how they've uh, built it and I'll just head up these steps as well and just see if I can see anything or see in definitely I can't see in because there's like another big solid wooden door behind Daryl is walking through the uh, beautiful gardens there down towards the lake it does look like that's the only way out of here we'll go through the gardens here the sun's coming out again it is getting a lot lot warmer they've got all this planted out here looks like they've just been doing that so that soon will probably grow and look amazing let's have another last look at the uh, hall and then we'll uh, start making his way back to the uh, car and there's the amazing uh, lake again I will have to uh, correct myself I think I did call it uh, the wrong thing it's Don Massey isn't it not uh, what I said before so we're just at the side now of this beautiful hall and just check that tree out that you can walk under let's just uh, walk under it so beautiful there you can shelter from probably the rain or the sun if it was a really really red hot day and look at the hall again from this perspective it looks absolutely amazing we are going to leave these beautiful gardens here now it has been amazing to uh, see them so we're out of the gardens on the other side of the hall and it has started to uh, rain again a little bit I really really enjoyed it well worth uh, coming shame we can't go in the hall but as I say that doesn't open for another hour and a half 12 till 4 that opens I haven't seen, <coughs> seen any more deer they must have all uh, gone now because there is a lot more people about so they probably are scaring them more into the uh, deeper countryside here I've just made a comment about the deer and then go and behold there is these uh, deers that we saw when we uh, come in still grazing on the grass so we will just check them out in a second as we go past them and there we go the are quite close to us now and they're all grazing on the grass let's uh, just zoom in a little bit for you so you can see and uh, there's a girl there actually uh, feeding them and they have uh, gone to her amazing I say she's uh, 
Got some more leaves there. And she is feeding them, and that one has uh, just taken the leaf off her, then bolted. And she is going to go now to the next one, and that's coming across. It doesn't know whether to have it or not. Try and make its mind up, it wants it, and there you are. It's uh, just taking it off her. And she's got another one there, and it's taking that one off her as well. Fantastic. So we're just getting walk probably around this uh, mill now as we uh, head out of here. And that does look absolutely beautiful as well. So there's the mill, and there's one of the main doors into it. Like I say, it looks absolutely uh, magnificent, that does. It's gone very, very uh, dark again. The sun's gone in and the temperature has uh, really, really dropped. Wind's very, very powerful as well. So it's amazing how it just keeps changing. One minute it's hot, one minute it's cold. So we are heading back to the uh, car now. The car is uh, just parked up here. We're getting past this absolutely back end of the hall and it does look absolutely amazing. And so just check out the uh, moat there as we uh, head back to the car behind the big hall. And just in front of us, we've got the gates where we uh, did come in. Quite a lot of people about now, and as I say, it is June, 9th of June, and everybody's got big coats on. So we will end the video here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. We're back to this amazing tree. So I've just looked at a notice and this is over 500 years old. Absolutely amazing. So like I say, thanks for watching the video. And we'll see you soon on the next video, wherever that may be. And I hope you've really enjoyed it today. Thanks again. See you soon. Well, I'll just do a little bit more recording just before I do go, because it does look really, really nice here as we uh, go to the entrance. But it does look like it is going to throw it down with rain. And we're coming into the cafe area now. Don't know whether that's any busier than it was when we initially came. And we've been in the visitor centre and headed out. <laughs>